Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Before I get started, I want to go over my disclaimers. If you are in immediate danger, please call 911 or you can reach out to the domestic hotline at 800 799 SAFE. 800-799-7233 and for mental health resources reach out to NAMI at 800-950-NAMI 800-950-6264 and you can also text at 741741. With that being said please remember to like subscribe and share. So today I want to talk to you about the love bombing face of the narcissist. You know how when you first meet this person, um, and this is true enough, everybody is on their good behavior. They're trying to impress the person that they meet. Uh, but sh you get to know this person. You sit down, you talk with them, <clears throat> excuse me, you have long conversations. And um, you open up, you know, little by little. But what a, a narcissist is all pretend. You know, they whine and dine you. They treat you like you are the best of the best and you feel that you have met your true love and um, it's just like a whirlwind. It's so in your face, it's so wonderful. And then um, they can't keep this behavior up for so long so it's going to, pretty soon they're going to show who they really are. And when they do, it flips. They um, throw up what they've done for you, how you don't seem to be appreciative how um, they think they love you more than you do and how they just feel uh, left out of your life. I mean, uh, and then it hits you all of a sudden. You're just like, you know, what happened? One day you wake up and it's like, it's almost like going to a new job. You have three months of training and uh, you got your trainer sitting by your side. Or if you're in a classroom, you're uh, learning the ins and out of the job of the job. But um, after the three months is up, you're on your own to do what you have uh, learned and apply it to the job. And then sometimes you can get into a job where the trainer just don't have time for you. And then they uh, make you feel bad because you should have seen what they are. You should have learned what they were training you. And so the same with a narcissist. Um, Let's say they take three months and they show you nothing but love and kindness and all of a sudden a uh, training day is over. And so now you're going to see who they really are. You're going to deal with the short temper. You're going to deal with them feeling uh, selfish and making you feel like um, that you don't care about them. You're going to deal with the guilt of the relationship. You're not giving them enough time and all of that. And then uh, it just becomes something that you can't even fathom. You know, you just think about how it was in the beginning. And then you start to see that this is nothing like the man or the woman that you met in the beginning. So then, you know, starting to take them around people whenever they decide they want to be around people. Um, they start to notice that this person is not all that. And you may have a friend or a family member come tell you what they see. And then now, because you've seen the same thing for the last month or so, you become defensive. And this is how you get stuck. And this is how you stay. And you try to make something work that's not working. When I've told you many a times before, you can't fix a broken person. So now you're trapped in this relationship because um, you're trying to save face. And you don't want people to see what you're really going through and you know sometimes uh, there's no physical abuse but the mental abuse is wearing on you it's starting to show it's starting to affect the way you um take care of yourself the way you look you know and people can see this people can see that you're not the bubbly person that you used to be or you're not outgoing or you're just different even if you was never an outgoing person you have withdrawn so much to where people are now concerned and you're trying to to defend this instead of um owning up to the mistake that you made by allowing this person to come to your life and walk it away see the problem we have nowadays is we get in a relationship and we hold on to it for dear life like it's the last relationship we're ever going to have. And like you'll never find someone that's gonna love you as much as you love them. And uh, we 
don't want to see the red flags. We push it aside. Even when it's just waving right in your face, you see the flag just waving right in your face. You still uh, putting it down and you just don't want to see it because somewhere in your head, you think this is the best relationship that you're going to get. So if we stop thinking that way and we let go when we see somebody that's not good for us and when we see people are telling us that this is not good for us, when we take a step back and move away from it, uh, we can save ourselves the grief and the heartache. You know, I get that time is precious, but living is precious as well. So you don't want to spend years and years with a person because uh, you are ashamed of getting into a relationship that's not good for you. It's better to be out of a relationship that's not any good for you to, in, in, instead of staying in a relationship that's going to end up into death. You know, um, within this month alone, there have been three um, uh, bad relationships that ended in death. And so uh, when you when you see that on the news, when you hear about that, um, it makes you think, you know, people say, well, there wasn't no physical abuse. So we often overlook the mental abuse that a person is going through. Yeah, maybe you didn't see any black eyes or you didn't see any marks on the person's uh, arm or whatever the case may be. But you do see the person is withdrawn and, and staying away from family. So they're dealing with this mentally. So if you're dealing with this in that uh, situation, don't feel ashamed. Don't feel bad because you picked the wrong person or the wrong person came into your life. Let this person go before you waste too much time and then, and then things end up uh, with you losing your life. Um, because a lot of the relationships nowadays it's not so much that the person is being beaten, it's the mental abuse. And then the person that's doing the mental abuse see that you're slipping away after five to 10 years and they don't want to lose you because they have gotten comfortable with uh, treating you a certain way. So when you're getting ready to walk out, um, they end your life, you know, so you need to think about that. So if you are going through this and you just feel like there's no way to turn, I would suggest that you go um, to the Most High and pray. You know, ask for deliverance, ask for guidance, and also don't stay in this relationship. Get out as quick as quickly as you can. Don't tell the person um, that you're leaving. Sometimes that can flare them up. Just leave. You know, if you have to leave when they're not there, just leave. Uh, go missing so they don't have to uh, try to persuade you or hurt you in order to make you stay. And uh, I would also suggest that you get um, the police involved. Um, and I understand that if you're married to this person, it's not just that easy. But I've said it many times before, go to a shelter. They can help you uh, better than you think. And I know most people think of shelter with homeless people and stuff like that, but they do have domestic abuse shelters that you can go into. And if you have to do that because you can feel, see, God has given us all this intuition and all these gut feelings. You can feel when things are about to go uh, bad. You can feel when this person has lost their grip on reality and they'll do anything to make you stay. It's not because they love you, but it's because they want to keep this control. So you have that intuition. Um, the Most High is speaking to you, but um, you choose to ignore because um, you don't want to feel like people are going to point fingers and say that you always pick the bad person. So let them talk, do whatever it takes to get out of this relationship. And if somebody you know that's going through this, show this video, share it, and remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you again tomorrow. Thank you for watching.